It's the longest running local telethon in the United States, and 70 years later, it's still going strong. The 70th annual Eagles Cancer Telethon got off to a great start down at the Mayo Civic Center, featuring live performances, check donations, and even a brand new executive director after 13 years. Teresa Chapman is handing over the reins after more than 30 years of aiding the telethon. Brett Carlson has now taken over the role. And, you know, we started out volunteering in 91, my husband and I did, and it was for personal reasons, just like a lot of people. Our family had been touched by cancer, and uh, over the years, we got hit a little bit harder. And so each year, those dollars meant more because we knew it was helping and taking research a little further than what we were before. There isn't anyone that I've ever met that hasn't been touched in some way by cancer, either themselves or know someone, family, friends, co-workers, whatever. So, I mean, it's just everywhere and it's, it feels good to help. All proceeds from the telethon go towards the cancer research for a number of organizations, including the University of Minnesota, Mayo Clinic, and the Hormel Institute. All three are using the funds to support the next generation of doctors and researchers as they continue the fight against cancer. Well, over the 70 years of the telethon, there's been a total of $24 million donated to the cause of cancer research. And the way we like to use the funds from the Eagles Telethon is to use it to support young investigators in the laboratory. They are bright, they are imaginative, they're fired up, they just want to do something that makes a difference in the world. And the money from the Eagles gives them the chance to put their ideas in cancer research, not just mine, but theirs. Carlson says he's excited to see the continued support of communities from both Southeast Minnesota and Northeast Iowa as they come together to contribute towards this cause. It's, it's a community event, everybody from around the area, it's not just us. It's Lyle, it's Geneva, it's the person that walks up here with two dollars and says I want to do something. Every dollar counts. Whether it's a huge donation or a small one, it all makes a difference. In Rochester, Matt Rainier, KTTC News.